what no one tells you about breastfeeding. Oh, what a topic to write about. Disclaimer, this is a lengthy post. I missed last week's post, so I'm making up for it. So I exclusively breastfed my daughter two weeks shy of six months. I completely weaned her on my birthday as a gift to myself. It was also around the time when Florence Leung's husband released a statement about losing his wife. I'd consider myself a realistic optimist, so I try my best to understand and accept why horrible situations happen, and I try to see the silver lining in them. Without logic and reasoning to some of the darkest moments of humanity, I don't think I could do my day job. A sad and unfortunate event gave me the courage to do a good thing for myself. Her story resonated with me not only because we gave birth around the same time, but it struck a chord within the Chinese community, bringing awareness of postpartum depression and conversations about mental illness. My dad's a news junkie, especially stories involving Chinese people, and he was the first one to tell me about Florence. I am a father's daughter in which we both wear our hearts, our sums, on our sleeves. Externally, he's a hardened, retired, blue-collar immigrant who would tell me his stories of perseverance where he had to carry water as a kid with his seven brothers and sisters. Internally, he has a sensitive soul softened by his strong and independent wife and daughters. Florence's story brought out that side of him. He expressed the extreme sadness he felt for the family and shared with me an old news story he remembered where a female psychiatrist had a similar outcome. He stressed that mental illness can affect anyone, even those who are experts in that field. In his own way, he was, te- he was making sure I was taking care of myself. When I was pregnant, I read a bit about breastfeeding and, and attended the ever-so-eager parents-to-be workshop with my husband. You know, the ones where you're supposed to simulate labor by holding an ice cube while your partner helps you visualize a flower blooming? Side note, doing the ice bucket challenge every day would not compare to how much pain labor was for me. Basically, I knew breastfeeding was a hard and daunting task from the get-go, so I didn't set high expectations for myself. At least, I didn't think I would. A week or so before my due date, my husband and I went to a friend's barbecue. At the party, I sat with two moms, hoping to gain insight from them about my impending event. I'm not sure how the conversation started, but breastfeeding came up. Each mom provided their opposing opinion on the matter as I sat there like a fat water balloon between them. The mom on my my left nonchalantly told me she exclusively breastfed her toddler son without a hitch, but was having a tough time weaning because her son lost interest before she did. The mom on my right brought her three-month-old and was feeding him formula. She reassured me that formula is totally fine to give and to not feel pressured to breastfeed because it can be difficult. Then they both looked at me and asked me what I'm going to do. I told them I'm going to try breastfeeding, but if it doesn't work out, I've got a bunch of formula samples ready. It was one of the hardest things I've ever had to do in my life. I'd say those first weeks were pure torture, physically, emotionally, and mentally. During the first eight weeks, I dreaded every feed, all 10 to 12 of them each day. I asked for help, I got help. I had my latch checked by a bunch of folks. I saw a breastfeeding consultant. I had round-the-clock nurses come to help me at the hospital. My sister, a family doctor and a mom of two, even grabbed my boob and stuck it in my baby's tiny little mouth. I went to community mom support groups. I weighed and measured her length every other day to validate my efforts. I asked my helpless husband to help, he passed me the nursing pillow, he passed me water, he passed me lanolin, he bought bought me a nipple shield, he was a cheerleader texting encouraging messages throughout the day when he was at work. I pumped, I googled, I read articles, blogs, forums, I visited the Leches, La Leche League's um, website every waking hour. I wanted to feed her formula 
many times. The latch was painful. I had thrush. I clenched my jaw every time. I cried. I vented. I struggled. Then I became motivated to start all over again. It was a mental game that I played with myself every day. I desperately wanted to know that I was doing a good job as a mom. And it felt like every feed that I completed provided me with reassurance and validation. I can do this. Yes, I can. No, I can't. Let's read about all those breastfeeding benefits again. Yes, I can. Oh, it hurts like the dickens. Just give her formula. No, I can't. Yes, no. Then it became bearable with slight discomfort. Then miraculously, at the end of the eight weeks, it became the norm. Her milk drunk face was my highlight at the end of every feed. I cherished the closeness I felt to her during those times. Breastfeeding empowered me, giving me purpose as I defined my new role as a mom. The next three months were black breastfeeding bliss. No pain, no leakiness, no awkwardness. My husband and I got through all the seasons of Breaking Bad and Narcos. I had a major setback at five months. I developed a bad case of mastitis. I had a fever, joint pain, chills, and every fee became my nightmare, my worst nightmare. It was like those first eight weeks all over again, feeling like a failure who had relapsed. But relapsed from what? That was the moment when Kim Chen released his statement. I read it and then read it again and again as tears splashed on my phone. I couldn't do it anymore. I saw my family doctor and without a single look of judgment, she explained exactly how I should wean. I completely weaned her in two weeks and she was on formula. I was physically healed, emotionally drained, and mentally confused. Why was I so hard on myself when I hadn't set any expectations to breastfeed from the beginning? Yes, there were nurses at the hospital and posters everywhere promoting, encouraging, and some pressuring me to breastfeed. All the resources you get from the government recommend to exclusively breastfeed for the first six months. I remember learning about it in school and and memorizing all the physiological benefits of breastfeeding. No one stated it, but it was like formula was inadvertently associated with another F word, failure. The moment she was born, I was given a new job and a permanent job with a ton of ambiguity, no prescribed duties, no performance feedback, but a lot of responsibility. The only way I could become confident in the role was to actually do it. Talk about being thrown in the deep end. I knew a baby needed to eat, sleep, play, poop, and pee. And I, along with my partner, was responsible for defining how I do these things. Breastfeeding was perceived as the most beneficial way to feed my baby. And when I'm new at a job, I want to do my best. I didn't know what the best way I didn't know that the best way may not be the right way because I didn't know what right meant for me. I didn't know because I hadn't done it before. How do I know what I can't possibly know? Even when I talked to other mothers, like at the barbecue, I received mixed opinions. The internet provides an even more ambiguous stream of information. It's like how you can find 10 articles telling you coffee gives you cancer, and then find 10 other ones telling you it will prevent it. So in the end, fed is best. As long as a child is healthily gaining weight and growing in length, a mother should have the right to feed her child in the way she feels is appropriate. Having done both both breastfeeding and formula methods, I appreciate the benefits of each. Let's have compassion, respect, and empathy for each other as we navigate through this already difficult job as parents. Accepting ambiguity is one of the core tenets of parenthood, and I just try to take it one day at a time. So readers, what's your take on breastfeeding? For moms, what, what was the right way for you to feed your child?